We believe that by doing good, you can do well. And my view is that um, our workforce is a very hard-working, family-oriented group of people. And they're generally taken advantage of. Uh, I mean, it's just the nature. Farming is difficult, and so the farmers oftentimes don't have a lot of sympathy for their workers, to be quite candid with you. We saw the opportunity to really try to respect those people, create a better environment for them, create a better environment for their children, and we believe that we get a benefit from that. So we've seen the opportunity to give free health care to all our um, employees and their families. Now that again is somewhat self-centered because we believe that we're self-insured, or so our, hopefully our insurance rates will go down, and we've seen a little bit of that. We were a big employer, um, this town that you talk about called Lost Hills, which we have really rebuilt, probably 40 or 50 percent of the people in that town have some, either work for us or someone in their family works for us. And there we built a park and a recreation building, and it's, it's always hard. I have to give David Rubenstein some, some credit here because he said, you know, when you give charity, you never know, you can't measure your results the same way. So if it makes you feel good, then you're doing the right thing. And here we were able to at least measure a bit of our success because we, uh, I guess after about three years, we went up to, a, we had a, uh, a health fair in this little town and Linda and I went up there and we happened to talk to the uh, sheriff's department. And they said to us, do you know that the, that the crime in this town has been reduced by 80% since you built this park? And so we really feel there that we really have made a, made a big improvement in that, in that town.